Hello and welcome to the episode 114 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we have some early concerts, a hint about an aborted first feature film, and the end of the work on a hard day's night. On the 24th of April 1960, we have a performance of the Nurk Twins, a duo featuring John Lennon and Paul McCartney. The two, on acoustic guitars and vocals, performed for the second and last time at the Fox and Hounds pub in Cavernsham, Berkshire, this time during the busy lunchtime slot from 12 noon to 2 pm. The pub was operated by Paul's cousin Beth Robbins and her husband Mike. John and Paul played their set and then hitchhiked back to Liverpool. In 1961, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums, performed at a top 10 club in Hamburg, West Germany, as part of their second residency in that city. Moving on to 1962, we get the Beatles, still featuring Pete Best on drums, busy with their third residency in Hamburg, this time at the Star Club. Another third one year later, in 1963, with the Another Mercy Beat Showcase. The evening, the third showcase of NEMS acts put together by Brian Epstein, saw the Beatles topping a bill also featuring Jerry and the Pacemakers, the Big Three, and Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas. The venue was the Majestic Ballroom in London. Before the show, the soon-to-be Fabs met with scriptwriter Peter Clayton to discuss an idea for a feature film centered on the band, but nothing ever came from it. Talking about films, the 24th of April 1964 saw the completion of the shootings of A Hard Day's Night. In the morning, the crew filmed the last bits of the Ringo solo sequence in Edge Hill Road, in London. In the afternoon, the Beatles and all the rest of the crew and cast met in a private hall behind the Turk's Head pub in Twickenham for an end-of-film party. During the eight weeks of production, United Artists had made sure director Richard Lester had filmed a lot of additional footage of the band. Now, United Artists reached a deal with BBC to use the material in an exclusive 28-minute documentary called Follow the Beatles, shown on BBC One on the 3rd of August 1964, between 7.50 and 8.20 pm. Since the material was silent, BBC included an opening introduction by Robert Robinson and superimposed the images to audio interviews with George Martin, Richard Lester, film producer Walter Shenson, scriptwriter Alan Owen, and actors Wilfred Bramble, Norman Rossington, and Lionel Blair. And before moving on with the final part of the episode, I'll remind you once again to be fab and make the difference. How? Find that out visiting www.simonmas.com support. There's a lot you can do without spending a penny, but if you do want to make a donation of any size, bless. Anyhow, any little help will give me a big hand in producing more music-related content with an eye to increase its quality. Thank you! In 1965, the Beatles were busy with yet more filming, this time for their help feature film. The task of the day was filming the exteriors of the pub sequences at the City Barge Club in London. After this part of the work was completed, John and Paul were free to go, while George and Ringo remained to film another exterior of them in a telephone box. This was another unused scene that would not end up in the final cut of the film. Finally, on the 24th of April 1967, the four Beatles went out together to watch their friend Donovan perform for the first night of a week-long residency at the Savile Theatre in London. The theatre was owned by their manager, Brian Epstein. And with this jolly evening event, we can conclude this episode of What A Fab Day. Tomorrow, we'll talk about the start of the recording of Magical Mystery Tour. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.